Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're taking a look at Cooler Master's Master Liquid PL360 Flux. Now we've taken a look at other Cooler Master Master Liquid all-in-one coolers here in the past, and the PL360 Flux adds some additional lighting options that are new uh, to this lineup that we really wanted to focus on, uh, especially the ARGB or addressable RGB lighting that is found on not only the fans, but multiple locations on the pump housing itself. As the name suggests, the PL360 Flux comes with a 360 millimeter radiator, and also included with the kit are three 120 millimeter fans. Now the Master Liquid PL360 Flux has a couple features that we wanted to point out. Number one, it has a premium dual chamber pump to kind of keep the hot liquid and cool liquid uh, separate. So you've got the cool liquid coming in from the radiator and then moving across the water block. And that's when that water obviously heats up and uh, goes back out through the radiator. So that's a dual chamber design there to separate the hot and cold liquids. We've also got a uh, low profile radiator. This is a 360 millimeter radiator. We also have Cooler Master's redesigned Flux series fans. Uh, these fans are not only ARGB enabled, uh, but they offer the uh, strength and structure um, where the fan blades themselves are all attached with a ring around the edge of the blades. Um, they also have an angled inner fan frame and that boosts your air intake so that you get a little better pressure um, through the radiator fins themselves. Now, speaking of lighting, the pump itself has two ARGB lighting zones uh, or loops as Cooler Master calls them. We have the one ringing around the outside of the pump housing itself, and then we have a RGB uh, Cooler Master logo in the middle. And both of those are independently controllable, so you can customize them independently of each other with Cooler Master software. The Flux fans are also ARGB enabled and you can control those in Cooler Master's software as well. And if your motherboard doesn't support uh, ARGB or a three pin design, they do include their addressable Gen 2 RGB controller uh, that pairs up great with Cooler Master's Master Plus software. And that's what we utilized in this review to control the lighting on this cooler itself. Installation of the cooler is pretty straightforward. Um, on the AMD side of things, which is what we have our setup uh, based on, uh, there's just two brackets that attach to the side of the pump housing itself. You attach those, put a couple screws in, and then you use the your motherboard's uh, AM4 mounting brackets to tighten on a couple clips to the uh, the motherboard itself. It's really easy, super simple. If you put on any um, previous all-in-one coolers on an AM4 system, it's very similar to others like that. Um, just utilizes some thumb screws. You don't even have to use a screwdriver to tighten it uh, onto the motherboard itself. Uh, another really nice feature of Cooler Master's um, all-in-one kits, and I love this, I've, we've seen this on multiple of their kits, is the use of thumb screws to mount the fans to the radiator. It's so much easier and quicker than the, the small little screws and having to use a um, screwdriver to um, install fans. I just really love that they uh, have continued that uh, design. Once you've gone through the quick and easy process of mounting the CPU block to your motherboard and the radiator to the case, all you have to do is connect a few ARGB connections uh, and fan headers to your motherboard. Now, the fan headers are all connected via a three-way splitter, so you can just use a single uh, four-pin PWM uh, fan header on your motherboard, which is really nice. You only have to use one of those and you can control all three fans at the same time. And the ARGB connections all connect back into the Generation 2 controller from Cooler Master. Cooler Master also includes a kind of pigtail for those ARGB connections. So um, if you want to, in our case, utilize all five of the lighting zones, you're going to need five connections on that controller. And thankfully the, uh, the pigtail uh, had enough for all of those connections. And then that just connects to your PC via a onboard USB 2.0 header and a SATA power connection. Once all that's connected, you're pretty much ready to go. So uh, that's what we did and we fired up the system and now we get to take a look at that really cool RGB. Now, as far as cooling performance goes, the PL360 Flux idled right around 20 degrees Celsius and under a load, uh, it averaged around 46 degrees Celsius. 
our results indicate that it's uh, pretty decent at idle and low loads. Uh, but once you really start putting a load on the CPU, like we did via the uh, Ada64 CPU test, um, it doesn't cool quite as well as some of the other coolers we have taken a look at in the past, but it's definitely not a horrible cooler either. To wrap things up, I think the Cooler Master PL360 Flux from their Master Liquid Cooler line uh, is a pretty nice cooler. You've got multiple features that set it apart uh, and kind of improve upon previous generations of the Master Liquid line. Uh, number one, you've got the ARGB features across this kit. Um, that includes not only the fans, but two lighting zones on the cooler itself. You also have those improved fans that we talked about earlier, um, and the super simple installation of those fans with the, th the threaded um, thumb screws into the radiator. That is just such a game changer um, that Cooler Master has had for quite a while, makes installing those fans so much easier and less tedious of a process. As far as installing the pump itself onto the motherboard, as far as AMD testing goes, uh, really straightforward using the built-in AMD hardware on your motherboard. Um, you have to screw on a bracket to the pump housing itself, and then utilizing two thumb screws, you can just attach the pump housing to your motherboard. If you want some more information about this cooler, go ahead and check out our written review over at the site. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later.